happy Thursday and welcome back to school if you can say that's a happy thing not so much around here it's not but um, I hope that you hop on and join me tonight when you hop on say hello hello miss Sarah hi Ruth Ann give me a thumbs up or a like or something let me know you're here I'll say hello if I see you Hi, Kay and Kelly and Tori. Yay! <laughs> Hi, Brenda. And hey, Ruth Ann. And tonight, if you are not in my VIP group, hey, Chrissy, you're going to see that I said tonight was a wink, wink night. 200. Wink, wink. Ready? Let's do this. I know we can do it. I know we can. I believe in you. We're going to do it. Hey, Cheryl. So, just click this little share button right there. If the little red sign says live right there with a the number bite, that means you're watching me live. If not, please, when you watch it back, comment um, hashtag replay and let me know. I am going to go ahead and get started. I hope everybody is having a blessed day. Today was our first day back to school for the little ones here, and little man did not really want to go and was throwing a couple of fits last night, and he's never done this before. So, yes, please comment that you shared and let me know, so that way I know that you are in the Wink Wink Club tonight. <laughs> if you don't know what the Wink Wink is, you need to be added to my VIP group, and you need to say, add me to your VIP group right here, and I'll give you a link as long as you're not a prisoner. Center, I will add you right up and you'll know everything that's going on. Hey Marie, hey Alicia, hey Shelly, hello Kimberly, thank you, hi Jean, Brittany, and Patsy. Everybody's joined me. I'm so excited. I'm so, so, so excited. Let me get this hair out of the way. It's not going to be a cute thing because I have not done like self care today. So look, we're going to just look silly and crazy. Who cares, right? Yes, wink, wink. Share, share, and share and tell me that you shared. Um, Yes, I was. I posted in my parties and in my VIP group that I was going live, but I didn't put it on my main wall. I've like bombarded posts today, so I didn't want to aggravate everybody again. But here we are, and thank you for sharing. I appreciate you so very much. Um, <clears throat> we're going to start with some rose water. You know you're supposed to say that, right? After you spray it, you're supposed to say, oh. <laughs> And as the quote says, hold on, let me um, go ahead and pin my post or my website here in case anybody has any questions whatsoever that will be easy for you to find it and to find me and know that if you have any questions you can private message me directly or hit that link missybowls.com and it'll take you right to my web page hey michelle hey billy oh thank you i will absolutely add you absolutely hey christina hey patsy okay so when i said we're going to use the quad tonight that is what i meant we are getting new eyeshadows September 1st, they will be available to everyone, and you can customize your palette. If you did not see me the other day live um, during the day, I let you know that this is what we got at convention, and I went ahead and I used these three shades. Well, tonight we're going to incorporate every single one of them, so stay tuned with me, and we will get to the eyes here in just a minute, and then we'll do a nice lip with a, um, a lipstick that I don't normally, normally use, if I could speak right. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Sherry. Thank you guys so much for joining. If it is your first time joining, please shout out to me and say hello and tell me what state you are uh, watching from, and I would love to hear back from you and welcome you here. So, if you've never watched me when I first apply my makeup, you're going to see that I probably look a little bit crazy, but we have mineral makeup. It is unique products, and they will blend together all at the end. I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to put some Glorious Face and Eye Primer on, which this will help your makeup Go on flawlessly and stay all day, um, not settling in your creases and your pores. Hi, Lisa. Thanks, Ruth Ann, for sharing. Okay, so just a little bit on the tip of your finger. Rub that in and go all over your face and your eyelids. So we're going to rub that in just like a lotion. It doesn't take much, but this will, I do this while I am um, drying my hair to get ready to fix it because um, it settles, uh, it goes into your uh, skin and it will help. A little bit more when it absorbs for a few minutes but for video purposes we are just applying it and then going right into the makeup okay we are at 46 we need to hit 200 up here at the top and we will have a wink wink night so if you do not know what that is make sure you say add me to your VIP group and I don't know why this light always looks crazy anymore it's like making me look yellow <laughs> hey Carmela hey Diana hey Sarah hey Mark Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of, of concealer because um, I have a couple of little blemishes 
So I'm gonna do that, but tonight I'm only going to use foundation um, pressed powder. No liquid, no BB cream, just the pressed powder. And I just wanna show you what kind of a coverage that you're gonna get. Hi, Diana, thank you for sharing. And wink, wink back to you. Hey, Tina, hey, Lorenda. That's right, share girls, share, we can do this. Okay, so I just put a little bit, I've got one of my hairs in it. <laughs> I shed like a dog, like seriously. Uh, just a tiny bit of concealer, and I'm just gonna put that on the back of my hand and tap it anywhere that you feel like you have a little bit of redness or blemishes. And this is just gonna add a little bit of coverage and cover those splotchy parts up. And that's in the same, um, this is chiffon, the same shade as my um, powder that I'm gonna use. And that's what's awesome, because on days that you don't feel like wearing um, a foundation, uh, take a powder puff brush, go over your powder and put it on and you will have great coverage. So all of our products are amazing. You just have to try them and see which ones work for you. And I'm just gonna tell you, I love them all. The only one I do not wear, and that could change soon because we're getting a new mask for um, uh, oily skin. Hi Jamie, thank you for joining me. Um, is the one the pressed cream that looks like this. It's just a little bit too heavy for my oily skin, but if you have normal to dry skin, it would be amazing for you. So um, if you need help with trying to figure out what products are good for you, just message me, let me know, and I would help you. Thank you, Patsy, for sharing. Okay, so we're gonna take chiffon powder, and you know I'm just about out. I have a new one, so I'm not stressed out about it. <laughs> so we're gonna use this one up until it's gone. Hey Rhonda, hi Mary. I'm gonna use our powder concealer brush because I love, love, love this brush. It is awesome. And we're just gonna try to get in there to those edges and we're just gonna buff this into our skin. And this is what you do. You just buff it into your skin and um, until you get the desired coverage that you are going for, I'm gonna just do half of my face. Thank you Tracy for sharing. And uh, you can see the difference in how good just a pressed powder covers and it's buildable it's not going to get real cakey like um, a normal powder you would think would I'm trying to reach down in those edges here um, it doesn't really settle in your in your creases and pores especially if you are putting on um, a primer because it's going to help with that too so alrighty so there is just one side can you tell the difference a little blotchy here all um, smooth and even so we're gonna do the other side I come on late what did you use first yeah I used just a, a dot of uh, the same shade chiffon concealer just I have a couple of little blemishes or red spots on my face that haven't come out yet so I just wanted to touch those up before and give them a little bit of extra coverage even though the um, gosh the powder has great coverage when you have a little bit more in your your compact than what I do. Hi, Carol. Thanks for joining. Hi, Carolyn and Brooke and Julia. If I do not see you on here or see your comment, I'm not ignoring you. I promise. People probably think that I'm rude, but some comments don't actually show up until I actually get off live. Okay, so I think we got, got all covered here. So there is your face just powder. Awesome stuff. Hey, Carissa. Hey, Gay. Hey, Brenda. And now we're going to just go into our regular um, highlight and contour, and you want to highlight and contour over top of your foundation. I know a lot of people don't use um, concealer over top of their foundation, and you wonder why. Um, if you put it over top of, you're going to see it more, and whenever you put on your foundation, if you put it on first, if you put this on first and put your foundation on, you're rubbing it off. So put your highlight and your contour over top of your foundation. So that's just what we're going to do. I'm going to use Scarlet. Nope, this is the wrong concealer. Hold on. Scarlet. Got two of them out here. Okay. So I always put it on the back of my hand. Hey, Jen. Thank you, Nancy, for sharing. Don't forget it is a wink, wink night. So I just draw like a little line. And this is Scarlet. So we're going to take our blending bud. Let me put some rose water on it because you don't want the product to be soaked up in your blending bud. So you want to um, have it damp or spray it. Hi, Ashley. Hey, hey, Jen. Okay, so we're going to dip down in there and we're just going to highlight right under our eyes. And you're using a, a bouncing motion um, because this is going to tap it into your skin versus dragging it and putting any like drag marks in it, if that makes sense. Hey, Trisha. Hey, Linda. Hey, Elena. Hey, Tammy. Thank you all for joining. 
share, 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 and it's wink, wink, wink. <laughs> Just tell me that you shared. Thanks, Carol, for sharing. Okay, so what this is doing is you're highlighting underneath of your eyes and any um, areas that you want to bring out. Um, and this is going to basically give your face um, a look that is more awake and fresh, and it kind of gives your face like a little free eye, uh, facelift, if that makes sense. Thanks, Jen, for sharing. Hi, Kathy. And you just blend it in until you're ready, or it's des your desired look. Some people don't like it as highlighted. Like I say, if you're joining me for the first time, you're going to think I'm crazy until the end, and that is okay. I understand. Um, but they're all minerals, so they will all blend together, so don't get all scared up in here. <laughs> Tina wants to know what you used first. Uh, concealer and then just press powder. Rose water and primer. Okay, so um, just tapping that one. Hey, Kathy, thanks for sharing. And right here on your Cupid's bow, because then whenever you contour, these spots are going to like pop out just a little bit more. I know it doesn't, you know, it doesn't like grab you, but it, that's what your focus point on. And then when you contour, you're going to take those parts and sink them in. So that way your face is looking thinner and you're lifting it up with um, an illusion of makeup. So that's why I say makeup is an art and it's magic. So ask Jen's husband. He always says that her eyelashes are magic because she uses the Epic Mascara. The Epic is amazing. And I'm going to be able to just use just the Epic by itself very soon because the serum is making my lashes grow. And I'm so excited. This stubby lash girl is no longer going to be stubby. Stubby, stubby, stubby all the time. Okay. So I'm going to set a little bit of uh, Behold Setting Powder. Kind of like you're baking. Do you know what baking means? That means it's setting it into to the skin and giving that highlight staying power. So just tap it on there. It's a little bit... Um, Heavier than what you would actually put it on to wear. You got your BB and Behold. Awesome. Do you love the B, uh, the Behold? Or have you got to got a chance to wear it yet? I love, love, love it. Okay, so I'm going to use Malibu Bronzer. Hey, Selena. Grow, lashes grow. And they are, girlfriend. Yours are, too. They look so good. Hi, Destiny. Um, so we're using Malibu, and we're going to use this as our contouring. You can use a darker powder or a darker BB cream or a darker concealer. Totally a personal preference of what you want. And I always start here at the top of my ear and just kind of basically go down and stay about two to three finger widths from the corner of your mouth. And yes, I do this darker at first too because of the fact that, um, like I say, you want them to go darker because when you blend your whole look together, it's going to blend some of that color down and you're not going to be able to see it as much. Well, I want to do this so that I can see it. So, we go darker and then blend it out. So, go around your forehead. This is going to make your forehead look smaller. And I have a big, large forehead, so you want them to just focus on your highlighting. Well, hello, Tammy. Glad to see you're here on vacation at the beach. I'm so jealous. I want to move to the beach. Right underneath your cupid's bow, this is going to give you a powdier lip because you highlighted the top and you... Um, are contouring the bottom, giving you a fuller appearance. Hey, Sandra. Hey, Dolly. And you want to slim your double chin neck area. <laughs> Not saying that everybody has one, but I'm just showing you. This is what you do. And make sure you blend it down on your neck. You don't want that harsh, dark line. Okay? So we're done with the Malibu for now. And now we're going to go on to our blush. And I'm going to use my stunning blush because I love, love, love it. Hey, Sarah. Hello, Rita. Hi, Cindy. Tomorrow is your last day. Oh, I hate last days. I always ruin my last day because I'm sad that it's my last day and I have to leave. I know. It's a bad thing. Hey, Katrina. So this is stunning. And we're just going to take that and we're going to make a Neapolitan look on your face, right? You put your blush right here in between your highlight and your contour. And you're giving it the vanilla strawberry chocolate look. Easy to remember that way. Hey, girl, thank you so much. It is a wink wink. And so for sharing that, you're in the wink wink. If we hit this number right here, it has to say 200. So if you're in my VIP, you know exactly what that means. You know, you know. If you're not in my VIP group, you want to be in there. So say, add me, and I will. Thank you, Wanda. Um, 
not been in the water one time. Can you see um, your feet in the water? If you can, then I would be in it. If not, then no. Okay, we're at 100. We got to get to 200. We can do this. I have faith in you. Cross your fingers. Hit the share button. Invite your friends. We can do this. Yes, Wanda, we can. Hi, Kimberly. How much is the mascara you use? Okay, well, let me tell you. Um, Destiny, there is an option. Right now, I've been using the Gross Serum, okay? This is going to help your lashes be more healthy, fuller, thicker, and longer. We have a new one-step mascara. This is epic. It is um, $24 on its own. Or we have the 3D mascara, which gives you length and volume and is amazing. This is $29 on its own for these two. Or you can buy the Trio for $76 and it's 20% off um, for a limited time. So let me know how I can help you and I would love to do just that. Well, thank you. I love the mascara too, Kimberly. I do. Yes, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Alrighty. Okay, where am I at? I'm done. Lost my train of thought. Okay, brows. <laughs> We've done our cheeks, so let's do our brows. And you all know that I'm a creature of habit, and I go back to my old faithful all the time, and that is Prim Eyeliner in my eyebrows. Best trio ever. It is, truly. Hi, Nikki. Hi, Sarah. Okay, so I'm going to sharpen this because every time I use it, I like for it to be sharpened. And a little trick is you can put these in your refrigerator or your freezer for a few minutes and then sharpen them, and they're going to just sharpen perfectly in our, um, our pencil sharpener. I highly recommend it. It's $7.50 and it is the best. Okay, so I'm going to take Prim. looks just like this. It's getting smaller. I'm going to have to order me a new one. Hello, hello. Next week, I'm putting my first order in. Yay, Wanda, you're going to love it. You truly are. Trisha, I don't know if she's still on here. Trisha, she ordered a, about a week or so ago, and she said she loved everything she got, so she came back today and she got some more. So it is addictive. I'm going to warn you that it is, but it is, it is a good addictive. You could be buying something that's not good for you. I wanted one-step mascara, but once I tried the trio, I know, Katrina, I am the same way. Like, I was so excited about the Epic, but I'm trying to grow my lashes. So using the trio, the, the serum at night and of the morning, and then the Epic, then the 3D, which I'm going to do tonight so you guys can stick around and see that. You'll see how my lashes look. They'll just, just be longer, and it is so good for me. I love, love, love it. Yes, I do. Of course, I've been wearing it. <laughs> Trisha is still on here. See, sometimes I just call you out like that. Hi, Tiffany. Oh, well, thanks, Wanda. I think that's a good thing. <laughs> hey, on it. It's on his birthday, y'all. Let's sing to her. It's my birthday. <laughs> oh, gosh. Hi, Azriel. Okay, so we're going to take Prim, and we're going to draw a line just on the top of your brow, just like this, very lightly. And you're going to do the same to the bottom, very lightly. You're very, very very lightly touching your brow lines, okay? Happy birthday. Everybody says happy birthday, Anna. Okay, and you're going to leave it just like that, and you're going to go do the same to the other eye, okay? And you're going to draw the line, and I'm going to try to get them pretty much um, in the same family tonight, maybe, hopefully. If not, it's okay. And then one on the bottom, very lightly. Kind of. Pretty good, right? Completely hooked. <laughs> happy birthday, happy birthday. Don't forget to share. Yes, we got to hit that 200 mark so we can do this, girlfriends. Okay, so we got this right here. I don't know why I put the lid on it. You're going to take that and you're going to very lightly go just in little stroke, hair, hair strokes, and fill that in. Just like that. Hardly any at all because when you take your brush and blend it through, you're going to disperse that color throughout your brow um, hairs. So that way you don't have... A really dark eyebrow okay are you 24 or 25 yeah exactly no she's 19 <laughs> so funny in my life I'm very sick and oh well thanks Wanda well at least we see that's what my VIP does we can all come together and share and bring happiness to everybody's life okay so I'm gonna do something crazy because I still have some purple in my hair and I love doing this you can't really tell but um, I like adding a little bit of purple to my brows because it kind of matches my hair. Yes, I do. So I'm going to get some more um, purple the next time I go back. Or we're going to do something fun. So I just take a little bit of the purple liner and just put that in there as well, kind of to make it match my eyebrows. 
I know, it's a little crazy, right? And then we're gonna brush that through with your lash comb. Okay, take your lash comb and your brow brush. These are $20, I think. I've had this since they've came out and um, I love, love, love them. Okay, purple is my favorite too. So we're brushing, because you want to disperse the color a lot in the front because you want it to go from lighter and you want your tail to be the darkest point of your eyebrow, okay? So brush that through. If you don't have this brush, you totally need it in your life. Um, a lot of places do have the brush, um, the lash brush and the comb, but this one is metal, so it's gonna help you get out any separation. Yeah, Tammy, yes, I did put purple. Is that what you're talking about? Thank you for sharing, thank you so much. It's 105 right now, we can get there. I know, I see it climbing. Keep going, keep going. Heather today, he did okay. He got off the bus, he was okay, but um, he's still not liking it. He's, he's gained a lot of anxiety for things that he can't control, and I don't understand where that's coming from unless it was from an incident that happened last year with a little bit of bullying, so we'll see. I'm not really sure. So, okay, we got a little bit of the Scarlet Concealer on the back of my hand, and we're gonna just clean up the brows. Are you getting ready to go to bed? Speaking of the little boy, he's coming up here. He's not got a shirt on. <laughs> he's got his shorts on, but you going to bed? Daddy putting you mm -hmm. to bed? Mm -hmm. Okay. I love you. I love you too. Have a good night. I will. Tell him good night. Good night. <laughs> there he was, come at the perfect time. Hi, Mo Hi, Morgan. Hi, Maria. Okay, so we're going to clean up these brows very lightly with some concealer. Okay, this will also hide any stray hairs that you need plucked because right now or waxed or whatever you get done to your eyebrows. That is what I need done. And then I take my finger and I just blend it in so that it's not really hot, so harsh. Oh, I love that everybody knows my little baby. He's not so little anymore, but he will always be mommy's baby. Always, always, always. Oh, thanks. Don't make me cry. You know I cry at everything. So we're just taking Scarlet Concealer. We're gonna bring it down just a little bit. This also helps when you go to highlight your eyes with your, your um, eye pigment or whatever you're using. Hi, Charlene, thank you for joining. Thank you for sharing, Wanda. Okay, and I just take a little bit and go right over the top and blend it right in with my finger. This is just cleaning up your brows, making them stand out a little bit more like they're crisp. You got your eyebrows waxed today. Oh, I know, you just feel like a new woman. Like we go to Justin at um, up in Southridge and he does such a great job. He tinted ours the last time, so it was a little bit easier. Hi, Kelly. Okay, so I'm gonna use the quad. Here we go, are you ready for this? But first, I wanna show you something else that we got and it is brand new. We have one now, but this one is even better. A brand new um, eye primer. It is now um, with the same mood struck, which is with the colors. So I'm going to show you, you just put a little bit on your finger and it's kind of like a tinted tan color and you just dot that on there and let it dry. You just rub it in. This is a little bit more tacky-er when you first put it on, it's not sticky or anything, but it's gonna help your eyeshadows to stay and not crease, which the Gloria's Face and Eye Primer seems to do that for me, but anybody who loves eye primer, this primer, you are going to love, love, love it. Oh, Yeah, he is good. You need to go see him for sure when you get the chances. Okay, so now we've got that, and I am not using Sexy, Curious, or Angelic, pigment tonight. I'm trying to put them down so that when I do my videos, you guys can see what you can get because these went out the door. They were replaced with these and we're going to have some amazing colors to share with you guys. So I'm going to highlight and uh, my eyes with this one right here. So we're going to pick up a um, liner shader brush and we're going to use the shader end. She is doing good. Awesome. 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 Love to hear that. Hey Eva, hey Lisa. Okay, so we're gonna put a little bit of highlighter underneath of your brow, and I use it more so out here on the edge. And then right here in the tear duct, this is just gonna wake, wake your eye up. Brighten it up. See how I, when the light catches it, it's just got that little bit of a sparkle to it. Hi Kathy, that's exactly how I put mine. Is it really? 
I have that so funny. A lot of people switch these two. I don't know. That was just how I did it. We think alike there, Cheryl. Okay, so we're highlighting with that one underneath of the, the eyebrow, more so on the outer edge, and then right in the tear duct. I did the pur uh, the purples the other day, so we're going to switch it up, and we're going to use the blue. Hey, 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 Bobby. Hey, Dusty. I'm going to use this bluish green color here. I'm not normally a blue-green kind of girl because I do have blue eyes, so I feel like it doesn't pop them as much as like a neutral or a black or a purple. Oh, yes, Tammy, you have got all this new stuff that's coming out. I, I can't wait to showcase it, let you guys see it, and uh, you're going to love it. Okay, so we're going to grab um, a, a deluxe brush. Yeah, it's close, but it's a little bit more, has a little bit more pink or depth to it. So, yeah, it's close. We're going to use this one. It's kind of like a grayish, creamish colored matte, and I'm going to just use that on my whole lid as like the transition color that's going to help my whole look blend easier. I'm not going to put a whole, whole lot on, just a little bit and blend it out up into my crease bone. Give me a smooth canvas. Thank you, Lisa, for sharing. We're trying to hit 200 at the top, so don't forget to share, everyone, and we will get there because it's wink, wink tonight. You know what that is. If you're in my VIP, if you don't know what that is and you want to be in my VIP, just share, comment, share it, and say, hey, add me to your VIP group, and I'll give you a link. Awesome sauce. Okay, so we're putting that on and just tapping it into your eyelid, giving you a smooth canvas. See how that's like really matte and going to give you something to work with. Yes, all the new stuff comes September 1st. Absolutely. Get in the VIP group because there is some stuff in there today about it. Hey, Kimmy. Sarah, I am feeling good, girlfriend. Ear is all better. Praise the Lord, right? Thank you for sharing, Eva. Okay, so we're going to pick up a crease brush, which is this one right here. I'm going to dust it off a little bit because I think it still has the purple in it because I haven't washed my brushes this week. I know I need to. Don't tell anybody about it. <laughs> So, okay, so we're going to go to this one. I'm a little scared because I have not done this. I have not used this one. So, like I say, we don't know the pigmentation of them. It's the very first time I've used this, so you're learning with me. We're going to build. Go right here on the outer part of your brow bone. It's not looking too blue, actually. It kind of looks um, like a, almost like a gray, kind of. Almost there. You can do it. And we're just going to build this up until we get the desired color and um, darkness that we want, but you remember that we're gonna take the new blending brush that we have too, and we're gonna blend this out. So you're gonna have some of the color to blend away. So as you do your face, you want to blend and add a little bit more at a time and make it darker because you're going to blend it out. Make sense? Make sense to you? Okay, we're gonna pull this in towards the center. I'm missing some comments. Oh, 119, go, go. Almost there. I want to do this. Not blue or green. No, it's kind of, I don't know. It's got a blue to it when you put it on. Maybe it's because I put it over that other one. Um, or if you put it with your rose water, it could probably take on a, a different shade. I'm going to keep going into the center of my eye with it just a little bit because I'm going to add the purple in the outer V. Um, we're using all the colors. We are going to use them all. Hey, Suanne. Hi, Brandy. Okay, so we're going to do the same over here. Build up that collar. Don't go in too heavy-handed or you won't be able to blend it away. It's easier to add than it is to blend. Remember that one. You don't want to put too much on your brush because then you'll be like, uh-oh, I can't get this to blend away. But if you just keep adding a little bit of color, a little bit of color, then you're going to um, be able to get the look you want. Are you going to show the blending brush? Yes, ma'am. Oh, thank you, Wanda. It looks like gray blue. Yeah, it kind of does, but it's probably because I put it over top of that gray. But it is more of a deeper, dustier blue. So we're putting that here, and then we're gonna we're just gonna tap it here in the corner, and then we're gonna brush it in. Cause like I say, I want to use the purple as well. Yeah, it'll blend out. So you want to put it on dark. Oh, I don't know. I can't do a wing, you all. I'm going to because we're getting a new liner, too. Ooh, yes, we are. It's called Dip and Draw. 
So we might be able to draw a wing. Okay, so that a little bit even. And then we're gonna take this underneath, connect that top look with that bottom. Don't leave those bottom lashes of your eye just plain because then it's gonna open up your eye, make it look brighter and wider and bigger. And it brings your look together. It kind of smokes out the look if you want to um, blend it out as well. It's kind of smoky. Hi, Brandy. With your brow. Oh, okay. I just read that. Hey, Angie. Okay, so I'm going to take the blending brush. I'm going to blend this out before I add the other collar on there. So, hi, John. So, here we go. Got this. We're just going to blend in circles. This is the amazing blending brush that is hashtag life. I have never used a blending brush like this and thought that I loved my deluxe brush, but I've got a new favorite. So we're blending this up just like that. Kind of like making the edges look kind of blurred is how I describe blending. <laughs> so you're just going to keep blending until you get there. Oh, thank you. I know he walked in on me talking about it. I was like, oops. I didn't hear him coming up the steps. And yeah, last year they had a little incident and it wasn't, it could have really ended bad. There was a rope around his neck, so it wasn't very good out on the playground. Yep, that was awful, but we got through it, we got past it, and we went on. Okay, so there we got it blended. Okay, and we're going to add the um, color that I highlighted with. We went back down to 109, we got to keep sharing um, this one right here. And I'm going to actually spray it into my lid. And I'm gonna shout my friend out for this one. I've not tried it yet, but I'm going to. Take your Behold instead of your rose water. Squirt it down in there. This is going to hold your makeup uh, um, colors on your eyes a lot better. So dip this in to the setting spray and then into the pigment, okay? And this is going to give you the same effect of a rose water, but it's going to set it there a little bit longer. Isn't that cool? Always so awesome, no matter what. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna add a little bit more, and then we're gonna blend these two edges together because you don't want any harsh edges. Like I say, I've not tried this look before, so if it doesn't turn out, it's okay. <laughs> it's just a trial, and you guys are here doing it with me live, so. But I love the colors. All of these colors are very highly pigmented, so that's good, so you don't have to use a lot of the product. You haven't used Behold yet? Oh my gosh, I love it. It is something that I have to have now. I never used a setting spray, but I have to have it now. Okay, so we're gonna blend this edge where that those two come together because you want a smooth transition to where it all blends together, okay? You can blend the inner part if you don't like it as um, shimmery. I'm just gonna tap it a little bit. But you always want your looks to look very blended. You don't want them to look like I have on a shade here and it stops and starts here. Okay, so you know that I love a darker outer edge, so we're going to incorporate the purple as well. This one right here. Yes, it is. See, everyone is telling Tammy she needs the Behold, the spray. Both of them are great, the powder and the spray. The Behold spray, uh, Tina, is used when I'm finished to spray my face and to keep it on. The Behold is more like a finishing powder. It's kind of like um, it smooths out your skin and just finishes your look. I love it. Love, love, love it. It has like a blurring effect to it. Okay, so I'm tapping in the purple, and we're going to go here in the outer V, okay? And we're just darkening up that outer V. And you can, like I say, you can dip it down in rose water or you can dip it in um, the Behold. Completely and totally up to you, but we're going to blend this. We're not going to leave it like that. Just giving it a little bit of color on the outer edge as well as a little bit of depth. Hot dog, almost there. Oh, goodness, you guys are doing good. Keep going. You got this. I'm excited for somebody. Okay, can you see how it's getting a little bit darker? It's kind of like you're contouring your eye. You're putting a little bit of de depth and dimension into the outer part. I don't know what I missed. <laughs> you, if you, if use only, you, 
Okay, if I only used one of those two, which would it be? I can't. <laughs> we had 156. Oh, keep going. You're almost there. Almost there. Almost there. I like them both. So, um, but it depends on what you want. If you want your makeup to stay, use the setting spray. And I'm going to take it right here, the purple, right on the outer part of my underneath. Just a very little bit. Not much at all. Okay? We're done with this. Let's blend a little bit. Me too, me too, me too. Thank you for sharing. We're at 169. See, you guys can do this. I'm so excited. Ah! Okay, so I'm just tapping. I'm not really blending it away. I just want it to fade into each other. So it's got the blue and the purple, and then we're going to add some um, liner, and it's going to bring this look all together. Until you get your eyeliner and your mascara on, your look really doesn't just pop. So you're, you're going to see the colors all come together when you get that one. 182. Oh, my gosh. You guys are awesome. You are, Oh, my gosh. You cannot stop now. It's 188. Ah! We're going to do it. We're going to do it. <laughs> when we get there. Ah! You did it! High five. Give me a virtual high five. Are you ready? Do this. Ready? Virtual high five. Woo! <laughs> you did it. You did it. Okay. Well, stay tuned. I'm so excited. Alrighty, so let's calm back down for a second. You guys are awesome. You guys are teetotally awesome. I'm serious. Okay, so I'm going to take, where is my splurge cream shadow that I use for my, i am got all out, out of whack here, you all. Magnificent. And it's a black. And it's a matte. So we're going to do our liner with that. And I'm using the brow brush, the angled end. You guys seriously rock. You all literally rock i hope you high-fived me back like did you high-five me <laughs> okay so we got that on there and we're going to make our liner on the top and i just go real thin at first i go all the way in and then go all the way to the, one from one edge to the other and then i go back and i darken it up i love the hearts i love everybody so excited it's exciting isn't it i know i know ah i love it Next time I'm gonna push you even harder, and next time we're gonna do a double, and we're gonna go for four. Do we think we can do it? Not this time. I mean, if you wanna try for this time, I'll, I'll definitely work with you and say double for four. Go for it. Go for it. Okay, so there's your liner, and then we're gonna go right on the bottom, and just on that lash line, just a very little bit. <laughs> Miss Tardy to the party. <laughs> hey, I like that name. That's usually me there, Connie. You, yeah, I'm telling you, my VIPs do rock. You guys are awesome. If you hit the 400, absolutely, I'll do a double wink wink all night long. Absolutely. That's how we roll. We help each other. and It's just so fun. You got to make it fun. Okay, so we're doing the black cream shadow. It's a matte. Just on your lash line. And I'm going to thicken it up here. We're going to let this eye look all come together. So if you're just now joining, say hello and don't forget to hit that share button. Share button. Okay. Do right on the lash line. Man, you all made my night. That was so fun. That was so fun. Okay, so we got our eyeliner on and we're going to put some on the waterline. You all know I love the pencil liner on my waterline. Hi, Valerie. So, Connie, see, you're not the only tardy, Miss Tardy to the party. Valerie is. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put this on the waterline. This stays for me because my eyes water out the edges, so that's why I do that just on the waterline. And then your eye looks coming together. See that? See that? Yay! I'm so excited. Thanks for the shares. Hi, Renee. Okay, so we're going to grab our One Step Epic Mascara, and we're going to grab our 3D Fiber Lash Mascara because this is what I'm loving. Let me grab my hair dryer, and let's do this. I'm going to show you what the Epic does. The Epic alone, if you have awesome lashes, is going to make them even more awesomer. Is that a word? More awesomer? And it's going to separate them, and it's going to curl them all at the same time. Is that not crazy? It is an amazing mascara. I've never used any one-step non-fiber mascara that gives so much um, length and separation and curl all at one time. 
So if I'm missing any comments, please don't hold it against me right now. Keep them coming and I'll get to you. If you have this Epic Mascara, please tell us what you think of it. I have no lashes, but they're growing because I have the serum. Okay, do a little coat on the bottom. But you're gonna see these get longer. Wanda, if you are not a VIP, you must be in the VIP to know what that means. Some things you can't say publicly because I could get in trouble. And Lord knows I have haters out there that are just sitting there watching for me to say something so they can tell on me. <laughs> that makes me laugh. It does. It makes me so laugh. I'm like, are you really that bored? See, Chrissy has the epic. She loves it. Loves it. Kay loves it. Amazing Epic is the bomb.com. Jen will tell you she loves it. Her husband loves it. She put it on and he was like, really? What did you do to your eyelashes? Are those fake? No, Azriel, you're not a hater. Okay, so we got the Epic on and they're growing, right? You can see them. You can see them. Let's do this 3D thing. What's this all about? Yeah, you do want to join the VIP group. Tina is right amazing lady so much fun in there we have a blast okay so this is the gel and I always say it does not matter how long it takes for my eyelashes to look amazing because it, it this these products truly do and I will take 20 minutes if it takes it <laughs> but it, it doesn't it doesn't take that long and then I roll the fibers on the back of my hand because they um, tend to be fluffy when you pull them out and I don't want them to be fluffy on my eyelid so you just apply those to the middle to the tips see it they're growing we're gonna take the hair dryer to it everyone loves it you want to be a VIP absolutely girlfriend I will give you a link and all you have to do is click it and I will accept you as long as you are not a unique presenter already you are in there like swimwear okay take those out and roll that on the back of your hand and apply those just middle ways to the tips okay Look what we're going to do. We're going to blow those suckers up. Ready? Yes, and it gives you crazy hair. <laughs> but that's okay. We're crazy in here. We're going to seal those in. And you can go bigger if you wish. You absolutely can add to this however much um, you want to, however long you want to. Totally up to you. Let's do some fibers on here. Just the tips. Just go back and hit the tips. Okay. See that? It's amazing. Yeah, the hair dryer technique is awesome. Okay, let me get um, a coat on here of gel so that we can seal them in. I see, see when you do the... I just did an oopsie on my eye. Um, when you do the um, hair dryer, you blow off any excess fibers that aren't um, adhered to your lashes. And they, they fall up here. So you just scrape them off. And here, look. I have stubborn eyelashes that want to crisscross when you put something on them. They always have and they always will. So I try to like straighten them out. Do I put the, I don't put the fibers on the bottom, but you sure can. Absolutely, you sure can. So, um, you're going to put those fibers just on the tips. Try to straighten that out there. Alrighty, let's blow dry those up and we'll seal them in and you'll be done with your eyelashes. Look at that. Look at that. That's just crazy. Now, on the hair dryer trick, you love that. I'm going to leave that hair like that. <laughs> on the hair dryer trick, you want to um, blow with warm air and then hit it with the cool shot. Don't want to burn your eyelashes or your eyes. So, take your, your gel and you're just going to seal in that last coat. Just make sure that you get, get a good coat all over your lashes. And that's going to hold those fibers in so they don't fall off. You're at 290. You know what? You can do 400. You can get to 400. I saw it. You can do it. And then we will have a double. Okay, so we got those set in there. Look at those lashes. And I have stubs. Seriously, just think if you have nice lashes and you use this, you're going to have them like up to your eyebrows. It's crazy stuff. Okay, so your eye look is done. Let me um, fix that spot where I went in with my 
mascara and made an oopsie. Okay. Now, we are going to blend out our face because I told you from the beginning, remember how I said this looks really bright and this looks really dark? We're going to blend that out with your clean powder puff brush. Just blend it together. You're just blending those, those colors together. No more harsh lines. Blending that behold away that's been baking on your face. Blending your look together just with a powder puff brush. That's all you have to use. So see how it's no longer a harsh but you can still see the highlight contour and the blush. And this is the setting powder that I was telling you all about. You just take this, you take your brush, and this is gonna smooth your face. You just tap it in and then blend. Look, smooth. <laughs> smooth, you're at 300, 301. Oh gosh, you've got this in the bag. You got this, okay. Look at that, smooth face, that's all it takes. Behold, setting powder. Okay, so we're gonna put a little bit of Luminizer on, and hmm, I don't want that one. Let's use Benevolent tonight. You love it, you love it, I do too. Hey Amanda, so this is Benevolent. I know it's kinda hard to see, it's kinda like a creamy color, champagne color, and we're just gonna use that same brush and go right here on your high cheekbone. See that? Ooh, that solar eclipse ain't got nothing on me. <laughs> You'll need your glasses for this, too. It's going to blind you. I'm silly, y'all. Okay, go down the bridge of your nose. What color on the lips? I've got something that I don't normally use. Yes, I'm not. Well, I do love powder because I have an oily face so but I love it yes right here on the cupid's bow you're done with your luminizer let's do some lips ladies I'm gonna use a lipstick that I don't normally use and it's called ambitious some of you have this already I'm gonna ombre it out because you know that's my favorite thing to do but look at this gorgeous color look at that gorgeous right mm-hmm uh, the brush that this one it is the powder concealer brush Everybody needs this in their makeup bag. Amazing. After you spray your setting spray and more highlighter, it makes it definitely pop. Yes, it does. I'm telling you. Okay, so here is the lipstick. Here we go. Moment of silence. 322 going. Go, go, go. Okay, here we go. I need to wear this color more often. I love it. Like, why haven't I put this on more? Like, this is crazy. I, this, this is my new favorite. Hello, Mr. Chris. How are you doing? Oh, my gosh. I love it. <laughs> I am crazy. You guys, cl click the share. You're almost there. We're almost a double wink wink. Come on. You got this. You, you all are amazing. You all are amazing. If you're on here, click that share button. Just do it. <laughs> I dare ya. Okay, so we got this. Let's ombre it out because it's my favoriteest thing in the world to do with your lips, okay? Okay. Oh, man, why did it jump down? It went from 380 to 320. Did we, like, lose something? Okay, so here we go. This is Scarlet Concealer. Put it on the back of your hand. Some people just don't like saying hi. I wish that like when I said hi, they would say hi back. Hi, Sandy. Okay, here we go. Putting this on our lips just a very little bit. I put too much on my hand. Okay, watch this. Do you see that? You guys can do this. I will stay here and I'll talk and I'll, I'll do whatever I can so you guys can hit that. Okay, see, we're gonna ombre this. And that's just gonna bring attention to your lips. Hello, Julie, hello, Christina, hi, Cindy. I love it when somebody talks to me. <laughs> hi, Caitlin, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first time, please tell me where you're, you're coming from. Well, hi, Kylie. 
I'm going to go a little bit brighter here. I'm going to give you all some time to get there. Do you like it? I like it. I like it. I'm going to start wearing this more often. That is called um, Ambitious. Ambitious. Hi, Karen. You guys are awesome. Hi, Chelsea. Okay, I'm going to show you the setting spray. Are you ready? This is the Behold. I've had this since it came out, and it's still full, and I use it all the time. So all you have to do, we're watching from Florida, Illinois. Hi, Julie. Hi, Mary. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you stick around, and I hope that you come back or want to be a part of the VIP group. If you want to be a part of that, it's awesome. It's amazing. So much stuff goes on behind closed doors. Comment, add me to your VIP group, and you will get it. Okay, shake it up, and you're going to spritz it all over your face. Are you ready? And I swear, I still have, like, you can hear it. It's full, I promise. Oh, well, thank you, Betty. Thank you so much. Thank you, Heather, for sharing. And Nona, all oh, from Utah, thank you. That is where our um, headquarters, our corporate office is, is in Utah. I've been out there myself in April. I love it. Five friends here, awesome. Thank you. You're from Ontario. Well, thank you. Welcome. I would love to add, add you all to the VIP group. We have so much fun in there. You love that one too. You wear it a lot, Kay. I love it. What was Kylie Kardashian looking for makeup to? <laughs> well, she come to the right place. <laughs> Pennsylvania. Hi, Cindy. I'm good. How are you? Hi, Kathy. Louisiana. San Antonio. That's where our next, um, um, our next convention is so I'll be there next August absolutely Oregon Wanda thank you Sandy absolutely Christine I would love to have you West Virginia yay well let me take this hair down because I got that crazy hair going on from uh, doing the blow dryer I didn't really fix my hair today so you have to ignore that but you have to kind of look at just the makeup so if you're interested in getting color matched or if there's something that you are interested in purchasing by all means get a hold of me by private message if you want to follow me on Facebook my friends list is maxed out but please click follow I will follow you back if that's possible and we will be friends on Facebook um, you can private message me anytime all my VIPs will tell you that I am right there to answer any questions that you have within five minutes I will not leave you waiting oh thank you Whitney you're so sweet yes welcome to all the new people I am loving having you here I hope you've enjoyed this if you didn't get to watch it all just go back and you can fast forward to the parts that you want to see um, but I absolutely appreciate you you're a presenter too awesome hi Carrie um, but yeah, I would love to have you guys back. I'm on Mondays and Thursdays at 9 o'clock and through the week, just popping on through the day to do some eyes and lips. So I would love for you guys to follow. If you have ever thought about this opportunity, if you have not ever heard of Unique, or if you've ever wanted to make a little bit of extra money and you love makeup, this has truly changed my life, my family's life. It's so much more than makeup to me. And when I say it's changed my life, it's gone deeper than just the makeup. So it is $99. You get over $400 in products. Um, I would love to have you. I would love to be your sponsor and help you um, to show you how to succeed in this business and to love what you do. So I appreciate you all sticking around with me. I appreciate you all tuning in, giving me the love. We hit 200 high five. We almost hit 400, but you know what? I love you guys that much. You were so dang close. I'm going to do it. 400 is what we see in my book, and we're giving a two double wink wink. Wow, two high fives. <laughs> thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. Don't forget to thank God for your blessings when you lay down tonight because He is the one who got you through this day, who gave you the blessings for this day, the very breath that you breathe, and for bringing you here to cross my path. And I'm so thankful that He has because He is amazing, and I can't do this thing or this life called or that we call life without Him. So I'm very, very thankful. So I want you all to go and thank him for your blessings tonight when you lay down. And I hope to see you guys back here. God loves you. And so do I. I'll talk to you soon.